tomorrow, Sunday, the traditional day of worship for most Christians all over the world. Tomorrow, Sunday, the first day of a brand new week. There is no better place to begin the week than the house of God, to praise and worship the giver of life and fellowship with other children of God. Tomorrow, welcome to tomorrow. Welcome viewers, welcome to another interesting episode of this program. Our program, your program, tomorrow. Um, God is always good, and that's a fact. And God wants to be wanted, He desires to be desired, and He loves to be loved. The Bible says, mark the perfect man, consider the upright, the end of that man is peace. So when you are in the will of God, following His pattern, you can be sure that the end result of whatever you are going through is peace. So your end is peace. You might say that to yourself again and say, my end is peace. You see, life is a race and the life is not a uh, hundred meters dash. It is not the heats like they say in athletics. Life is a marathon, maybe a decathlon, you know, it's a long distance race, you know, and if it's a long distance race, it cuts across different terrains. At times you are going uphill, at times you are descending a hill. That's how life is. Amen. But God is meant to be enjoyed at whatever level you find yourself in life. Make the most of every season that God brings your way. Again, life is a race. And we all have been called to run this long distance race. But the interesting thing about this race is this. You are not competing with anybody in this race. You are competing only with the agenda of God for your life. That's the only thing you are competing with. In other words, you are competing with yourself. What has God said about you? How far away or how close are you to what God has said about you? That is the determining factor in this race. Apostle Paul had this to say to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and from verse 24. He said, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that you may obtain. In other words, he was saying, run in such a way that you will win the race. And that's important. You must win the race of life. Your own life race, you must win. My own life race, I must win. You see, in a race, everybody has tracks. All the athletes have their own tracks. And if you leave your track and move to another person's track, you'll be disqualified from the race. So you must know your track, your own lane, and stay in your lane. Be focused in your lane. As you run the race of life, maintain your focus, be disciplined, stay where God has put you. Let me say this to us. Do you know that you have grace only for your place? Grace is place specific. Grace is assignment specific. There is the grace of God that has to do with divine equipment and empowerment for our divine callings, our divine assignments. That grace is place specific. That grace is assignment specific. If you are in your place, then you have grace to function in that place. If you are with your assignment and you are staying with it, you have commensurate grace to succeed in that assignment. Now you must run your race such that with the grace available for your track, you will make the best of it. That's what we're saying. So run in, in a way as to obtain. The next verse says, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. That person who is competing in that race must be temperate in all things. That means he's self-controlled, he's disciplined. We need discipline. Avoid distractions this year. Keep your focus on the Lord. Keep your focus on your assignment. Stay in your place. Don't want to be like the other guy. You must be you, and you must keep increasing in being you. That is the plan of God. That is the design of God for you. Listen, in Nigeria, the council of heaven stands. Uh, the purpose of God will daily unfold over our nation. And this year will be our best ever. In Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. As you prepare to honor that invitation, be expectant. God is also waiting to do great and wonderful things in your life. At Vine Brand Church, you can enjoy serving God. Glorious worship services will be held at Vine Brand Church centers tomorrow. Come down with us and we will do the good. Jesus is Lord.